All right, what's up, guys? Uh, Chris here, and I got a bit a quiet here. Uh, doing this a little late, but um, this video I'm going to be doing my predictions uh, for the Western Conference uh, playoffs for the WHL. Uh, so everything concluded tonight. Uh, I could have done my Western Conference predictions a while ago, but decided to wait uh, for the tiebreaker game between Medicine Hat and um, Edmonton. Now, first game we got in the series we got in the last is Series E, Victoria and Spokane. Now, I'm with pretty much everyone else here. Um, I don't think Spokane's going to give them much of a fight. Victoria is a pretty, it's a pretty big powerhouse in the West, and um, they have a lot of guys who can score. Their back end's good. Goaltending's not going to be an issue for them. I don't think Spokane. Uh, really has what it takes to um, take out Victoria. Um, so I'm going to have to take, uh, I'm, I think Spokane wins a game, but I'm going to say uh, Victoria in five games over Spokane. And that series, uh, series second series is uh, actually a very interesting one. Uh, so that series I'm going to be following. I'm a Blazers fan. From Cam, so obviously some mature form. Um, so yeah, let's get into this one. This is a, this is a very interesting one. Um, you look at where these uh, two teams started. Colorado, a very good team at the start. Cam's dog shit at the start. Uh, very different endings for both teams. Uh, Cam was winning the last three matchups against Kelowna. Two in Kelowna. And... Um, that really showed me something. They've won nine in a row uh, to end off the season. Um, Kelowna's got some key injuries with uh, Jackson Whistle and um, what's it? Nick Merkley, both out for the season. Uh, Kelowna's goaltending doesn't look very good. Herringer and I think it's Salmond is the other one. Uh, Herringer didn't look, didn't look, doesn't look too good. Uh, Cam's goaltending, I, it's not going to be a problem for him unless Ingram gets hurt. I mean, Ingram's been an absolute beast, definitely in consideration for goaltender of the year. And um, you know, that can make it very interesting. kelowna has got some pretty big, it's a pretty big firepower up front. Um, I think Cam's going to somewhat match it, and they've showed they can as well. Um, one game playing at the uh, old Memorial Arena. And uh, Cam, so that'll be interesting. I'll play a lot of minor hockey there. And a uh, very interesting uh, arena. We'll see. So that, I can, I'm disappointed I can't go to that game. But um, go into the first two in Kelowna. Then the game four. And we'll see from there. Um, anyways, my prediction for this. It's so tough to pick. I, it's going to go either way. I feel it's going to go seven games. But. The winner is, it's going to be tough to, I don't know who to choose here. Honestly, to me, it's a toss-up. I don't know who to take here. I, I'm feel, I'm feeling an upset, but then at the same time, I'm not. I don't know what I'm feeling here. I don't know, I don't know. I'm going to take Kamloops in seven games. Kamloops in seven games. I feel that's uh, my one upset for the West here is Kamloops in seven I'm going to take them. Uh, next series, Seattle, Prince George. Uh, Seattle, they've been lightning. Like, uh, coming in uh, to the playoffs, they've been very strong. It looked like Everett was going to take the division, but Seattle came out of no, came out of second place, uh, not nowhere, but, and they took over. They were very good. Barzell, Grob were very good. D was good. Everyone was good on Seattle. Their goaltending line of bow was just phenomenal. Um, uh, Prince George, they thought they had third place locked up. Campus came right in, stormed, stormed and took them out and gave them, I think, a harder matchup with the Seattle Thunderbirds. And um, I think Prince George will make somewhat of a series out of it. But I think Seattle's got the upper edge and just about everything. You know, so I'm going to take Seattle in six games over the Prince George, Prince George Cougars. And the last series is Everett. In Portland, this one is another toss-up. Um, not as much of a toss-up, but 
It's another interesting series. Everett playing very poor. Portland not playing the greatest either. Uh, coming into the playoffs. Um, Everett, I'd say, is the better team. And, um, you know, I honestly think... I think they're, they're going to take take it against Portland. Uh, most of the Portland guys um, weren't on the team uh, when they were in the playoffs, like with their big runs. So, honestly, I'm feeling Everett's going to take this one. I feel like it's going to be in six games as well, Everett over Portland. Alrighty, guys. Uh, Eastern Conference uh, will be in another video. Trying to keep these videos short, not one big long video. I'm going to keep them short. Uh, Eastern Conference will be in the next video, and I'll see you guys there. Bye.